human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. <laughs> I don't need an army. I've got a Krogan. Go right in the fun. This is exactly why we came. Covers one, run! They want to fight? We'll give it to them. Oh, wait. Sorry. Wait, Rider. what? Broker. Well, what is what is hitting me? Wow. Okay, that's certainly not what I expected. It makes sense though that these guys, the Rokar, wouldn't be super happy with. Okay. Man, don't actually seem to do any damage. Apparently, dolls hurt. Ah, oh God, I'm being shot by somewhere. I don't know where. Stop shooting me. Okay, so they're fighting. There's a guy back there somewhere. I can never get a shot on any of these guys. PB, stop dying all the like literally all the time. PB. Wait, are you... Really, dude? Okay, hit one of them. I actually hit one of them. These guys are annoyingly good at avoiding being shot. Oh god, I'm about to die. I don't know how I can revive her from here, but I'm glad I can. Pop your head up. I can't even tell for sure who's shooting at me. Okay. Oh, geez. There's so much shooting at me from over there. Oh, God. Well, damn, BB. For whom? Where are they? Are they get? Do we get them? We got them, guys. I think we got them up until the point where I get killed in two seconds. I still hear things exploding. Father's memories is now accessible. Okay, that's awesome. On the Hyperion. Found more Nettle survivors today, along with some not so low. So, can't believe the story of those pods. are making ramp up the ingenuity of their engineering. But he's always excited when it comes to these things. Now we should pay more attention. One of the ins and outs of the pod's design, torn apart trying to make a communicator, but it's all wires to me. Mac would know what to do, how to help these people survive. I can point a gun and keep them safe, but that's it. They, they need him for real leadership, and so do I. Sharp your last shot. No, that's an ally. You want to get out of the way? Okay, that guy's down. 
That guy's down. At least, I, at least I can fight them a little more effectively now. The grenades, as long as you're not like actively taking damage, the grenades don't really seem to do anything. Okay, well, the fact that it's now updated my quest objective seems to be arguing that we we successfully survived. And we found the Turian Ark, which is freaking amazing. I I expected to, like, get ideas about it and then have to go find it, not to just wander across them in an active firefight. But you know what? That's what happens when you make assumptions. There's something wrong with this planet. Plants sprout up behind you, the trees whisper, and I swear something other than those aliens is watching me. The experience with the Spectre, if we survive, it's because of Avitus. Is the Spectre their version of the Pathfinder? That would make sense. Okay. Thing. How about you... Okay, where the heck is... It just told me to meet... The... Yeah. Can you have me do that one? Because he's right here. I just don't know where right here he is. But I knew he was freaking close. And then it, it, it changed me to... Oh, you want to do this quest objective? There's like half the galaxy away? No. No, I don't. Okay, that wasn't our friend. Shot to the gut. Painful. You have those turians for you. Appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is. Oh, we've been fighting them too. We know. Rider, human pathfinder. You former military? A specter. Special tactics and Damn. Did the council's dirty work for fifteen years. So you're used to being above the law. Well, good thing there are no laws in Andromeda, huh? The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanus hit the scourge and bam, woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. Okay, so we didn't find the Ark, actually. Should have killed you. Now, those pods are sturdier than they look. But most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason, our Pathfinder. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. Yeah, I wish I could tell you something. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. <laughs> he's too stubborn. I mean, it's easy to say that when you know he's alive. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from Natanis are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. Yeah, I do think, like, saving more people is the priority. You go left, I go right? <laughs> something like that. Here's my frequency. Call when you find something. Wow, Havaro viability increased by 2%. Currently, 4%. Okay. So that was that was very interesting and very unique. Anything here that's scannable? His last name is Rex. That means he's a king. All right. So with that the other thing that I want to do before I head back to follow the main objective is this ancient crash site. They told, they warned me that, you know, it would be difficult to go there, and I believe them. But I, I definitely, when, when I actually got there, there was a chasm, and I was like, before I go descending into the bottom of the chasm, let me go get this guy out of the way real quick, because I could see he was very close. There's other people that showed up over there. Chasm of the Builders. Uh, 
Okay, so there's something... There's something down here. And I'm curious to know as to exactly what it is. We're definitely following something or someone. Oh, hi! Hopefully we don't have the same firefight we did the last time I was doing this. So I was really excited whenever um, I was like, oh, there's people down here. These are not the people I was hoping for. All right, I'll pick those guys up. So I don't actually need to fight though. Oh, jeez. Um, can you take cover behind something, please? I'd appreciate it. Am I hitting the edge of the... Yep, looks like I was. Jeebus. Yes, you are. All right, come on. So when I get to the actual thing, I will be back. <laughs> kind of walked into this one. All right, guys. Well, I made it up to the crash site. I really hope there's not a lot of enemies here because I am basically out of ammo. <laughs> I really hate that there's an ammo system in this game. I know I've complained about that before. This must be the crash site Avila mentioned. Okay, well, this restores my health, which is not damaged. I'm very nervous about getting this. Are we sure there's not a ammo supply around here? Because there's a health supply, and normally the two of them kind of go together. There is an ammo supply. Okay, go and use this real quick. Like, is that thing coming over here? Kinda. Okay, I've already gotten that. Thankfully, the pistol I've got, I've actually found a good upgrade, and so my pistol does real damage. My freaking assault rifle does almost nothing. Which is unfortunate. Ancient Argon's pilot's helmet. Really? I came I came to this crash site and I found a helmet? And that's it? Like, that seems like a massive waste of time. But you know what? Not going to complain about it. Let's go back to the forward station because I believe the forward station is at the I went ahead and dropped that at the apex so I could just go back down to where 
our survivors were. I'm sure I've read this. Okay, yes, I have. I was like, there's no way I did not catch that. So. Yeah, that's where we are currently. And it's this way. I, I am, I, I'm so glad they give you these that kind of tell you, hey, go this way, hey, go this way. Because I would get beyond lost if this were not here to guide me. Beyond lost. So now we find out whether or not this place is coming to attack while we've been gone. Don't know what caused that fire, but let's be careful. I was kind of kidding. That's probably its warning of, hey, something happened while you're gone. Although, why would the um, anti-alien people attack these guys? As far as I know, they're not aliens. I mean, they might be. But, you know, not to, not to them. Okay, you're not you're not an enemy. <laughs> I love how I'm like enemy test. I will run up and try and hug you, and if you attack me, you're bad. You don't feel any different. I don't think so. Why? Do you? Yeah, look different. My mind feels clouded, but I don't know if I'm just tired. You weren't lying. Kira told us everything. She even had pictures. I apologize for the indifferent welcome you received from me earlier. Yeah, you weren't that bad. After everything you've faced, I wouldn't have blamed you if you shot at me. <laughs> We're all glad that didn't happen. <laughs> Ryder, what you have done here, your remnant understanding, and your Sam should convince Ephra you're an asset. Yay! We should speak to him as soon as we can. Perhaps on the Tempest? Here, and I've been thinking. If Ryder can use Remnant, couldn't we fix the Monolians? Stop her valve decline. I wonder why I said that there was a viability this will meter. Take time to explain. We can discuss it further when you have time. Okay, so it's up to 6% viable. That's still not very good. Okay. That's why you've got to... I heard you were out here. You saved Kirindol's team. I sure did. The name's Ryder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. They say you want to help us. I wonder what you're prepared to oh, do. Oh, what do you have in mind? Yeah, everything I can. I'm ready to prove my people are good allies. A strong statement that doesn't answer my question. My name is Rochelle Veer. I'm an archaeastronomer. I study our ancient cultural records for stellar phenomena. I piece together lost knowledge Interesting. I look for astronomy of the past. Find undiscovered colonies we lost contact with, potential allies against the Ket. You think there might be in Gar worlds you don't know about? That's what I was trying to learn. Then this happened. I was away when the disaster struck. I thought my home was destroyed and all my research with it, but I just learned part of the building survived. All right. I'm trying to recover my research data, but the wildlife won't let me near my old home. Yeah, what wildlife are we talking about? These house guests. I assume they're of the hungry variety. The structure has become a breeding ground for insects and predators. Too many to face alone. So you want me to go face it with my team? No, I'll I'll go. Your work is too important to lose. Let's get it back. I'll provide my home's location. Just recover my research materials from the computer. I'll I can do that. Contact with you by com. Thank you for this. And then you, you were wanna... saying something about the planet being in decline. Yeah, that's certainly relevant information to follow up on. But Havaral is sick. It started here, uncontrolled mutations in organic life. 
killing some, turning others into poison. We're starting to see the same elsewhere. The planet's ecosystem is crumbling, slowly but surely. It's the monoliths. There are only two of them when there should be three. So I go to the third monolith, turn it on, reset the vault, and voila! That is just the thing, Pathfinder Rider. There is no third monolith. It's lost. Well, how do you lose an entire monolith? It could be destroyed, for all we know. We've never tried asking the sages. There could be something in their oral history. Stars. Those superstitious hermits don't <laughs> care about modern Angara. You know that. Stars is an epithet for them? Objections for the planet's survival. What do we have to lose? Sages? Oral histories? On Mithrada. That old remnant edifice over there. They trace their families back to a time just after the scourge. Okay. They believe isolation will maintain the purity of the histories by preventing contamination by modern thought. Basic sense. They probably don't even understand or care that Havaral's dying. Yeah, I, I would say that they're probably not the best. Is there no other option? Couldn't we trace the location of the third monolith from the two we know about? Uh, we've tried that, but the connections between monoliths have deteriorated. The trek up Mithrather's teeming with remnant. Most of us don't attempt it, but maybe you could do it. Follow the remnant river. Ah, oh, jeez. Keep your head. I'd hate to hear something terrible happened in pursuit of some ancient legend. Really? That's what you want me to do? Ugh. That seems like a lot of stupid. Good dude, the kid have, haven't reached your research post. We're not so lucky here, they're probably swarming the old temples, trying to dismantle the remnant tech. So interesting, the cat is trying to dismantle the... Re I, mean, I guess I actually knew that. They have to show up whenever I try and like access it. Try to fight them off, but even with the resistance reinforcement, there's just so many of them. And I called the retreat. Oh, yeah, dry on those temples, but there's nothing we can do. We're closing the area down. No one goes in and nothing comes out. Luge, thank you so much for bringing this to my attention. Crash like that well preserved? I'd give anything to see it. I'll see if I can send someone capable to check it out. It'll probably be well protected. And please, make sure Torver doesn't hear about it. I know he'll want to take a look at himself. He's not a quick deal with the danger involved. I feel myself he got injured trying to help. Kirian, I'm sure you've heard about the attack on Site 7, the loss of Dr. Vesheranov. It was a blow to the entire science community. Now many of Site 7's researchers have, have displaced and need of a new post. It was led to Aya for recovery, but someone to continue working here on Havaro. I recommend your camp as a suitable transition point. I know resources are thin, but your site's the only one the cat have ignored. I don't want to put these people in danger so soon after they witness the death of their superior. And I'm sure that you could use the help in your monolith project. Think it over and give me your response for tomorrow. Carrion? You're safe, right? I heard the cat attack the old city again. I know you're on the other side of the planet, but that's still too close. You know, wildlife and the remnant have all a dangerous place. Molly and Nesta worry about you. I worry about you too. Your work is important, I, I understand that. But promise your old mother the resistance will let, tells you to evacuate, you'll listen. None of this knowledge is worth the risk nonsense. And too many of your broken bones while you were young. It's time to give you a break. You gave me a break. Rashal, I've attached the data gathered from our efforts on Aya to map out the scourge. I've had a few irregularities during our research, dust mostly, but maybe one will take a look at it. The material isn't a match for any worlds in Heavy, so support your theory on colony worlds. Interesting. A credible final field last week. A shuttle from before the scourge started surfing down the ravine. From afar, it looks like the crash site is remarkably preserved, especially to have with the elements. Interesting. I wonder if I was able to find that before, and if I would have realized they were talking about the. Oh, hi! What? Is everything alright? You seem distressed. Uh, would you like a reward for that astute observation? Sure. <sighs> You're that alien visitor that came to Aya asking about our vault. 
You've heard of me. Who hasn't? <laughs> new species turn up. Reports spread fast. After the cat, can't be too careful. That makes sense. Luge Anson, historian with the repository of history. Aya. Listen, if there's nothing you need, could you go away? I'm busy trying to get transport off this cursed planet. Interesting. Why did you come here from Aya? Kieran's team found some remnant relics while digging around the old ruins. I was sent to collect them for the repository. It shouldn't have taken more than a day. But things never go according to schedule, do they? Of course not. That'd be easy. You mentioned remnant ruins. Are there lots of remnant here? I mean, we've run into yes. a lot of them. If you've been out in the jungle, you might have seen some of it. We think the ruins were part of a vast remnant complex. We've seen evidence of hallways that wound through the area, both above and below the ground. Generations ago, our people took shelter in what we found here. That's how Poleth was established. All right. Were there no hostile remnant machines? None, according to the histories. We found artifacts, of course. Bits of things that we could study. I wonder why they're hostile it's now. It's like moving into an empty home. You don't seem to like Havarl very much. Well, no, we suck Havarl's here. Havarl's other regions suit me just fine. But here... Oh, no. I don't do well in this fierce wilderness. <clears throat> you think these shelters keep you safe? They don't. Woke up this morning and found a thorny vine wormed its way into my bunk. I'm stranded here because a branch pierced my shuttle's power core. Oh, that's terrible. I won't bother you further. Very well. Watch out for plants while you're out there. Vicious things. <laughs> Watch out for the plants! Okay. So I need, well, actually, let's. So the first question is, what do I have currently? I have two assault rifles. The M8 Avenger that is like a slight update for the M8 Avenger 1, which is 39 damage. So, the Avenger Assault Rifle, Matic Assault Rifle 1 does significantly more damage. And Matic Assault Rifle 2 does quite a bit. Okay, can I can I make it now? Is that what I just made? That's that's the big problem. I don't I don't know exactly know which ones to Like, we've got a lot of different uh, varieties of assault rifle. Holy wow. Should have come here first. What was it called the Falcon? Well, where is it?
I need more copper. Okay. So that's what I use this stuff for. So that's what I just made. All right. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Oh, okay. I can use different... That makes sense. Okay. Well, cool beans on that. Let me go ahead and equip this so I can not... So I can stop continuously running out of ammo on literally everything. And I will see you guys in the next one. Actually, I don't think I can equip it here. We have to go to my um, deployment site. But regardless, I'll see you next time. It will be pretty good. Maybe. Maybe.